Hello everyone, here we have a question from whole number. The question is, using the properties, find the value of the each of the following. We have a two question. Now they are asking us to file, f uh, like use this or solve this using the properties. Now properties means we have a different properties like closure, commutative, associative, distributive. Whenever you see a questions like multiplication, like you're multiplying here these two numbers, or like multiplication then minus and multiplication. Whenever you see this kind of question, you have to use a distributive property. Now what is distributive property? Now suppose I have a number like a into b plus c okay now here a is getting multiplied with b plus c so b and plus c are in addition and a is getting multiplied to it so in that case you, you have to open the bracket and a will get multiplied with b and then later a we have to multiply with c and then you have to add it that is first you multiply a and b then you have a plus sign right in between b plus b and c so put that plus sign and multiply a with c it's a into c this is called distributive property now same thing we're going to use it for the solving these two questions so in the first one we have 736 multiplied by 102 so we don't have to directly multiply we have to split the number so it's easy to split 102 instead of splitting 730 so you can do it but the multiplication we have to make it easy so 102 we're gonna write it as 100 plus 2 now it's like a into b plus c now open the bracket multiply 736 to this 100 and then later with 2 so this is equal to 736 multiplied by 100 right then plus 736 multiplied by 2. Now first when you multiply this with 100, you will get 73600. When you multiply this with 2, 736 with 2, you will get 14 or 1472. Now add this two number, you will get 75072. That's it. This is distributive property. Now, second question also, if you observe, we have to use distributive property, but this is little different than the first question. How? If you see here, like let me write down the distributive property once again. It's like A into B plus C is equal to multiply A and B, A into B plus A into C. Yeah. So here what they have given this minus this is nothing but your right hand side of the distributive property now here in this question you have a minus sign and here i have taken plus it's okay we're going to change the sign to minus here we can take even minus instead of taking plus even that will be fine both it's like a distributive property over addition distributive property over subtraction that's it so it is a minus b if i take it will be a into b minus a into c that's it now here they have given the right hand side of the distributive property this one okay so here a is common if you see 800 8165 is common here this number is present on both the side of the minus sign and we have 169 and we have 69 here so they have given the right side of the distributive property we have to use the left hand side of the distributive property to solve so a will be outside the number which is common which is present on both the side of the multiplication on both the side of minus sign you have to take it out as a common and the remaining number will be sub getting subtracted like b minus c okay so that is what we're going to use here so th this is second question so let me write down the number 8165 multiplied by 169 minus the same number 8165 multiplied by 69 now they have given the right side of the distributive property where this number is common which is present both the side of the minus sign so that number i'm gonna pull it out i'm gonna take it out okay now if i take this number outside as a common if i take out this number outside what is left 169 is left so 169 and since we have a minus sign here we're gonna put minus sign and if i take this number out again 69 is left so write down 69 that's it so 169 minus 69 is 100 so 8165 multiplied by 100 so this is equal to 8165 sorry 816500 that is yeah that's it so it's very simple and sometimes you have a minus sign sometimes you have a plus sign depending upon the usage you have to use the distributive property now this is a simple question but this can come for three marks or two marks 
in case you have further question on this chapter or any other question you can drop a comment i'll try to make a video on it thank you so much for watching